Hi everybody, welcome to, back to my channel. And tonight we are doing a dessert. This is called a Cherry Delight. And if we come down to the side, it's a graham cracker crust with a layer of cream cheese Cool Whip mixture and then a layer of cherry pie filling. Now this is a make ahead deal. This does need to sit in the refrigerator for at least hour and a half, two hours, or even, you know, the next day. Um, what else do I need to say, think of to tell you guys? It's really easy. We're just going to throw some stuff together. Now I did use my KitchenAid mixer and my, um, my, uh, processor. You don't have to, you don't, you don't need anything other than your hands and maybe a, a gallon Ziploc bag to crush some, to crush your graham crackers in. The rest of it you can do by hand. You don't have to have the things I used tonight. So, who's ready to get started? I'm hungry. Let's do this. Alrighty, so for our Cherry Delight, we're going to need a couple things. We're going to need two 21 ounce cans of cherry pie filling, filling. I love this filling. And of course, when I went and to Walmart to get them, they only had one, so I had to get the Great Value brand. That's alright. No big deal. <laughs> You're going to need two... Two of these sleeves of graham crackers. Now I thought I had grabbed um, the cinnamon ones and I didn't. I accidentally grabbed the honey ones. No big deal. I'm just going to put some cinnamon on top of it. We are going to need two sticks of butter, two room temperature pa uh, eight ounce, eight ounce packages of uh, cream cheese, and just room temperature. Let them set out for a little bit. They'll. Uh, I'd say about an hour, hour and a half. They'll get to room temperature. You are going to need a package, a package, a container of Cool Whip. It doesn't say the... Oh, here it is. 8 ounce container of Cool Whip. Powdered sugar, sugar, and some vanilla extract. Of course, mine is imitation. That's fine. No big deal. Alright, so to get started... Oh, we're going to melt these. We are going to get a cup, and of course the one I want is dirty. I'll just put them in this. And we're going to throw these sticks of butter in the microwave for 30 seconds, 30 second intervals until they're melted. Get in there. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so I just did 45 seconds. Make sure that's completely melted. I'm gonna set it to the side. And of course, I made a mess. All right, so now what we're gonna do, and I wanna tell you guys, you can definitely do this in a gallon bag and, um, with a rolling pin, but uh, a couple years ago, I got this for my birthday or Christmas. I don't remember which. They're so close together, I don't remember. And I love this thing. I use it for everything. It's a mess. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our two packages of graham crackers. Take a chunk. And we're going to powder all of this. I can get, I think I can get both packages in here. I'm also going to eyeball a little bit of uh, cinnamon and sugar since I didn't get cinnamon graham crackers. This might be a tight squeeze. <laughs> Throw my trash away real quick. But, uh, yeah, since I didn't get, um, cinnamon graham crackers, graham crackers, I have a bottle of cinnamon sugar. I don't think it's been opened. Uh-oh. 
I'm just going to put a little bit of in here. Now it looks like normal graham crackers. Okay, and one last thing we're going to put. half a cup of powdered sugar in it. <laughs> Don't you giggle. <laughs> it's gonna fit. I'm telling you. <laughs> Alright. So I'm gonna get the lid on this. And I'm gonna run it off camera because this is gonna get pretty loud. So we will be right back. Okay, so this is the consistency we got. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this back on here. And now that butter we melted, pour that all over this. So I'm going to put my lid back on and I'm going to pulse this a few times and we'll be right back. Okay, so this is the consistency we should have. It should look a little bit like wet, chunky sand. But all I'm doing is just taking my spoon and getting the parts that came up on the side when we were pulsing it. And we're doing this off camera because I don't want it to blow your guys' eardrums. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pulse this another couple times and we'll be right back. Alright, so... There, it was stuck to the, stuck to my counter. All right, so now we're gonna take our 13 by nine and we're gonna spray this. Now I have made this where I didn't spray it and uh, after you put your, our crust down and then it cools, it will turn to concrete and you cannot get it out. <laughs> It gets hard. All right. So get my all that goodness off my blades. Don't cut yourself. I won't. And we're just gonna put this in here. I get as much as I can. Now I'm just going to take the... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but anyhow, now we're going to take the back of that half cup we used. And I'm just going to use that to lightly spread this. Do not pack it. It will not come out. It will turn to concrete. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I, I went like this in the sink to get the powdered sugar off, and I hit my measuring cup. <laughs> I didn't need to do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so even, evenly spreading this out. Don't pack. Don't pack. All right. Looks pretty even. So I'm going to set this in my fridge, and then we're going to get started with the layer that goes on the top. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're gonna work on our top layer. So you don't have to have a KitchenAid mixer. You can do this with an electric mixer or you can do it with your hand. It's just gonna take forever and your hand's gonna hurt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our two packages of cream cheese in our mixer. If you guys can see all the little nips and cuts all over my finger. We have a new kitten in our house, and he is a butthead. <laughs> Get in there. There. You can tell it's softened. Let me wash my hands. But we're going to 
beat this cream cheese in there a little bit until it's soft and smooth. I love the smell of cream cheese. It smells really good. away. All right, so I'm going to get this in here. I'm going to turn this on off camera because I don't want to blow your guys' eardrums, but I'm going to let this run probably I don't know, about six, four, six, maybe eight, and I'm going to show you guys the consistency we're going to need on this. So we're going to be right back. Okay, so I've let this beat for a few minutes on about six or eight. And I'm just going to use my rubber spatula because I want to get off this, get it off my paddle here. I'm just going to go in there and push this down. Sorry. It's okay. I'm going to let this go for another 30 seconds. Okay, so I let this go about another 30 seconds. Oh, geez. Okay, so we let that go another about 30 seconds or so. All I'm doing right now is just trying to get as much off that paddle as I can because I want that. <laughs> okay, got it on my hand. Go figure. All right, so now we are going to add our powdered sugar and our two teaspoons of vanilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my two teaspoons. One and two. And we're gonna need our powdered sugar. And I don't remember whole cup of powdered sugar. together for another few minutes and I'll come back and show you guys what we got all right so I let that go for about 30 seconds again and now I'm just taking my rubber spatula and pushing all that down to the side or off the side I should say I want to get all that cream cheese in there all right so I'm going to let that go another about 30 seconds. We'll be right back. Go. Okay, so I let that go about another 30 seconds. Now I'm just going to get everything I can off this paddle. Okay, now we're gonna get our package of Cool Whip out of the fridge. And to start, we're only gonna add half of it. Oh, I forgot to. I'm gonna push this out of the way. Oh, I knocked my pie filling over. So to start, we're gonna only add half of our uh, cool whip. And 
I want to try to use a clean rubber spatula. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I'm weird like that. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go in with half. And we're gonna easily fold this in. So all I'm doing is this. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. And just keep slowly, nice and easily folding it in. And the reason we're doing that is because if we just went at it, you know, just mixing it in there, what's gonna happen is that uh, Cool Whip is gonna lose its fluff and it's gonna look weird. I got powdered sugar on you, Jalen, sorry. And we're just gonna keep mixing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this done off camera. Get all, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna finish mixing this and then I'll add the other half and we'll come right back. Okay, so I added my other half and got it nice and mixed. And this is what it should be looking like. Good plop. <laughs> so I'm gonna get my graham cracker crust out of the fridge. Okay, so now we are going to spread this over the top of our graham crackers. Make sure you get all of that out of there. Spread this over the top. Look how pretty. <laughs> this has got to be my favorite dessert. Number one, I love cherries. Number two, I love graham crackers. <laughs> Number three, it's easy and you don't have to bake it. All you gotta do is throw it together, throw it in the <laughs> in the refrigerator. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, throw it in the refrigerator. Let it cool for a while and you're ready. Basically, throwing in, putting it in the refrigerator is going to help this um, Cool Whip and cream cheese mixture get nice, get back to a nice, pretty texture or uh, yeah, texture. To get it straight. It'll drive me nuts if I don't. <laughs> All right. Okay. I can't help it. I gotta use it. My finger, my daughter's giving me a look. I can't help it. I gotta get it off. There's so much left on the spoon. <laughs> All righty. I choked. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. I choked. <coughs> Thank you, Jayla. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to dump our two cans of cherry pie filling beautifully over the top. Oh, look at that. All right. Well, we were going to do it beautifully. <laughs> Let me... Dang it. <laughs> oh, I, I, whenever I use my, <clears throat> whenever I use my finger, <clears throat> to uh, get the cream cheese off my spatula. I licked it 
and it, like as I licked, it went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, back to what we were doing. Oh, the smell. Dishwasher's done. Spread that out. Now we're going to get our other can. Spread this evenly, nice and pretty. Look at how pretty it is. And also, whenever we let this set in the fridge, it's also going to help this pie pie filling harden up. Not harden up, I shouldn't say that. I should say, um, get a little firmer, so when you cut it, it's a nice pretty piece. Alright. Okay. Now just, all I'm going to do, just because I want this to look pretty, is clean up these edges a little bit. Because this is going to my niece's birthday. I want it to look nice. Okay, so that is it, you guys. Throw it in the, I about said the oven. Throw it in the refrigerator. <laughs> Let that sit for, I'd say no less than, oh boy. I'd say no less than an hour and a half. But mine's going to be sitting in the refrigerator for probably another four hours. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I was just thinking, I think something that'd be really good on top is maybe some pecans, chopped pecans. Anyhow, that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let me know what you guys think, what you would add, you know, the usual. And, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!